Hello, Eddie Brock. You're tiny. Well, duh, I'm a Spider-Man 3 toy. How good did your movie do, you think? I don't think it did very well. Well, probably because that I die at the end. That's not the only mistake. That's not the only mistake that movie had. Mm, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not! Everybody likes Eddie Pro. Scorpion tail because he's scorpion, and um, he's got a really long tongue. He's also got the eyes because he's scorpion, and um, the hands is really good. Venom hands and you know, claws, and just the detail in this figure is great. Then um, um symbol goes all the way around, which is cool. And um Yep. And then uh, camera's more focused, I should have done detail. Now you can probably see. That's an awesome figure. And what I was going to say is that it's articulation time. Hold on. For articulation, Venom has actually a lot. Um, his arm can rotate 360 degrees as well as go in and out. Um, bend at the elbow. And, um, no rotation at the elbow. And, um, hands can fully rotate, no finger articulation, which isn't a bad thing necessarily, but sort of, kind of, sort of. And, um, he has, um, ab articulation rotates 360 degrees, and waist articulation rotates 360 degrees, which is, you know, Marvel Legends style, because this is made by Toy Biz. And, um... He can bend at two points at the knee and um, rotate here, go forward, not really back, and fucking go pivot forward and back. And his head has quite a bit of movement, down quite a bit, but not really up, and then full head rotation. And this steals from Sean Long. And an exorcist sort of way, which is true. Um, he also has articulation in his actual tail. It has um, joint in here, joint here, jo just some joints in the tail. They call it a posable tail, so, you know, it's got to have articulation. The tail joints are really loose, though, because I got this loose online for four bucks. And, um, 
It was a bid. Wasn't a buy it no more. I would know it wasn't good quality. Now, all right. Ah, accessories. He doesn't have ah, any accessories unless you count the removable ah, scorpion tail. I'm put that out of the way because it's a pain. And but it's still a very nice figure. Really good detail in this figure. Really good. And, um, pretty good articulation and a long, awesome tongue. It sculpted really well. And the teeth, I gotta point out the teeth. Kind of remind me of shark teeth for some reason at the back. Because they're like, looks like they have, um, more than one layer of teeth. So, um, yeah, just a very, very cool figure. See, that's where you would put in the tail. And, um, this guy is sick. I mean, there's another version that some Atari reviewer said that was better than this one, but not by much, and it's a bunch of money. So, this is the cheap one, so I recommend him. If you want an Eddie Brock Venom, look for the non-rare one without the slime. The Eddie Brock Venom, is, the rare one is with slime on his mouth and his tongue. But this is a really cool figure. You have to buy him. I've only seen him once in stores, but that was when I had no money. So I found him online and I decided to grab him. And, um, this is a very cool figure. So, um, see you in the next video. Ew, that doesn't taste like ice cream.